Hello and welcome back to Storytime with Mr. Den. Today's story is Giraffe Can Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andreas. This is a story all about the giraffe, Gerald, who at the start of the story really struggles to do something and throughout learns that it's okay to be a little bit different and do things your own way. Can you think of a time where you struggled with something and might have found a different way that you've been able to do it? Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. His knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather slim. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when it came to running around, he'd buckle at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they'd hold a jungle dance, where every single animal turned up to skip and prance. And this year, when the deer arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really rather bad. The warthogs were waltzing, the rhinos rock and rolled, the lions danced the tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and ear baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely. He walked towards the floor. The lions saw him coming, and they began to roar. Hey, look, it's clumsy, Gerald! All the animals laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be so daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. I feel like such a clot. He then crept off the dance floor and started walking home. He'd never felt this sad before, so sad and all alone. He then found a little clearing and looked up to the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With the with that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His, jet, his neck was gently swaying and swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and swung them everywhere. He did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I'm dancing, Gerald cried. And then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived where Gerald boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! It must be a dream! Gerald is the best dancer that we've ever seen! How can it you dan how is it you dance like that? Please Gerald tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. He then raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can, we can all dance, he said. We just have to find music that we love. <laughs>